What do you think about profiling? Do you think it's fair, unfair? Do you think it's uh, discriminatory? Well, of course, there are a lot of people who think it should be practiced and those who think it should not be practiced, but there's one type of profiling that all of us can get behind. And that's the way that the Model 3 profiles us, profiles you. Today, we're gonna to look at the hidden settings that are automatically captured and saved to your individual profile as the car builds up a complete picture of who you are, what you're like, what your settings are, and we'll talk about those settings that you didn't even know were being saved into your profile. Well, hi folks, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. I'm Peter Levy. This is episode number 50. It is the end for now. It's not the end of the tip of the day, but we're gonna take a temporary pause. I've mentioned that before, while I get into much more serious and important video uploads. Profile. All of us know that when we get a new Model 3, there are three things that the car wants us to intentionally save. And that is the angles and the positions of the rear view mirrors, the position of the steering wheel, the height and the closeness to you of the steering wheel. And thirdly, every one of the 12 adjustments of your seat, not the passenger seat, just your seat as the driver. So we build up a personal profile Mine is just called Peter. And in that profile, our rear view mirrors, our seats, and our steering wheel are an integral part. But I had a really interesting comment the other day in one of our recent uh, tip of the day uploads. It was this. Can you sometime, when you have a chance, talk about the settings that get saved into our profile that we don't even know about? That's the subject of today. It's obviously important to understand that many settings do not get saved and we call those global settings. They affect every driver who sits in that seat and who drives the car. But there is a collection, a very large collection of settings that will automatically be saved. And we're gonna go out into the car right now and take a look at those. I'm also gonna list them here for you as we proceed and I'll give you a complete summary in the description below. So obviously we all know that there are three major adjustments that are automatically saved to your profile. Those three, if you look under quick controls, will be mirrors, steering wheel, and of course your driver's seat, because only the driver has the ability to create a profile that includes every seat adjustment. I have already created a video on how to set those. What we're going to look at today is which other settings are included in automatic saving to profile. Let's remind you again that the profile is accessed up here. If we tap on that, we have of course an easy entry which I'm at right now because I'm parked in the uh, Dragon Tent. All of the other names of people or any situations like I want a seat back profile or a curb view, all of those can be programmed in. When I'm in easy entry or I'm on Peter, which of the settings from the car controls actually get automatically saved? So we're going to begin with uh, lights. So again, we hit car controls and then we chose lights. Now watch this area here to see what happens when I change the headlight setting. Absolutely nothing. And that means light settings are global and they are not applied per profile. But now let's change a setting that does make a difference. So looking down at auto high beam, Let's turn it off and you keep your eye up there while I turn it off. Oh yeah, saved. Turn it back on again. Saved. The settings that show the word saved next to the profile are the settings that actually get affected on a per profile basis. So that easy entry would have its own, my Peter profile would have its own, Janine could do hers. And there are a long list of them. We're gonna go through pretty quickly. In the light section, there are only two. There is headlights after exit. There, you see it saving. 
Steering wheel lights? No. Auto high beam? Absolutely yes. So those are the two under lights. Let's go to locks. So looking at locks, obviously my phone is connected to my Peter profile. And that means when I approach with my phone, it's automatically going to go into the Peter profile when I start driving. Let's scroll down to some of the settings that are in the locks section. Unlock on park, meaning unlock the car when you put it into park. Yeah, that saves. Lock confirmation sound. When you walk away, you hear the little beep. Tells you it's locked. That is saved per profile. And finally, walk away door lock, meaning you walk away. As soon as you're out of range, the door just locks. How about under display? It's interesting to note that none of these make a difference. So if I put it on auto, you didn't see it saved. If you change language, you're going to require a complete reset, a complete reboot of your system. So we don't want to do that. But how about time format? If we change it to 24 hour or we keep it as 12 hour, yeah, that saves. Energy display, that is a setting that goes into your profile. Same with distance and the same with temperature. All of those, uh, how about tire pressure, bar or PSI? Nope, that is not saved as part of the profile. It's a global change that you're making. Let's go to driving. Under driving, all of these. Acceleration, that saves into your profile. Stopping mode, that saves into your profile. Regenerative braking, that saves. And finally, the type of stopping mode, creeping or rolling or holding, that will save into your profile. I like hold. I like regenerative braking as standard, sporty feel to the steering wheel, and standard acceleration, not old man acceleration. Let's go to autopilot. Now there's a long list of things that get saved. If you change your following distance, that gets saved. Now I'm not going to test each one and do it, I'll just tell you. Auto steer, navigate on autopilot, all of these are saved per profile. Interestingly, summon does not get saved to your profile, it's a global setting. And if you customize any of those, they are global as well. Speed limit warning gets saved. Speed limit, relative or absolute, that gets saved into your profile. Forward collision warning is another one that is automatically saved. So is lane departure avoidance and then emergency lane departure avoidance and blind spot collision. Now automatic braking is not saved. Obstacle aware acceleration is not saved. Those are global. How about navigation? Well here's one that does get saved. Whether or not you allow the speaker to navigate your turns or you mute it is saved on a per profile basis. Automatic navigation, trip planner. You'll notice that online routing is not saved per person. How about these? Avoiding ferries, avoiding tolls. Yeah, they get saved. What about use HOV lanes? No. HOV lanes is global. Let's go to safety and security. So under safety and security, we have a whole lot of settings that again will be applied. Speed limit mode does not get saved to a profile. Sentry mode, on or off, let's see. No, it doesn't. So sentry mode is global. How about dash cam? Save clips when you honk. Yeah, that gets saved in your profile. So here's one. Park assist chimes. That gets saved. Joe mode, which reduces the sound of the uh, alerts so that it doesn't waken people in your car who may be sleeping. Joe mode is on, that gets saved. Pin to drive? No, it doesn't. If you put a pin to drive, it's global for every driver and it's not a per profile thing. There we are under service. None of these are added to your profile and under software, none of these are added to profile because if I change from advanced to standard and back to advanced, Nothing occurred up at the top there, nothing changed. How about climate control? Well, there are certain things about climate control that will be saved. The temperature I set, watch this, saving. The synchronization settings, sync, yeah, that got saved. 
So I can split them and it saves the right side. Split, save the left. But I can go back, of course, and say synchronize and that gets saved. Seat heaters. Let's turn the right passenger, front passenger seat on and you watch up at the top there. Yeah, saving that. How about air vent direction? Watch the setting up there as I move this. Oh yeah. And again. It's come straight toward me. Vent direction is saved. And that's it. What about audio settings? Well, interesting. If I go into audio, the tone settings, the balance settings, or the options, none of them are saved to a profile. None of them. They are global. So whatever person gets in the car, they're going to have to accept my balance position and my tonal adjustments. Station settings, none of those are saved into your profile. The car does remember the last thing you were in, but it's global. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was um, illuminating. I hope that it is useful to all of you who are trying to build a good profile for yourselves. And of course, if you have partners, wives, kids who drive the car, help them to get to those settings and make choices that are appropriate for their driving. So their profile will be quite different from yours. And that is what makes the profile such a great setting. So this is the end of our tip of the day for now, just for now. I hope that you have a good weekend. I'm already working on that somewhat controversial video that I talked about. I'm not going to say any more. We're going to leave that until I upload it. I will send out a tweet in advance of that just to let you guys know. But thanks for being such good supporters of the channel. If you feel a need to support, we have a PayPal donation link below. If you feel you'd like to use my referral code as you buy a new Tesla, I would be privileged and honored if you chose it. It's just right over here. So thanks again. Look after yourselves and keep yourselves safe. And I will see you sometime in the weekend, maybe Monday. We'll see. Bye for now.